that's it. Hey. Hey. Thank you so much for tuning in again this yes. week. So today we'll be speaking about the whole awkward thing around friendships. Why do they end? Should they end? Oh God. And yeah, what governs the friends that you carry through your whole life and the ones that you kind of lose along the way? So if you've experienced some of that or you want to hear our thoughts about how we've gone through some of those things, stick around! This is something we both know. Don't try to move me from Do the big crowds matter anymore as you get older? Is there value in having 20 friends around you? Or what changes? Like what changes? I think they definitely don't matter anymore. So when you're younger, you almost attach your value to your friendship circles. But I think now when you're growing up, you're a lot more selective because you want to find value in your friendship circles, but also because you want to give and it's a lot deeper because so much is happening in your life. It's harder to maintain a crowd versus maintaining the inner circle. I think to yeah. stay friends with all of those people when you're younger, you have to pour yourself into all of them, right? Like, yeah. You have to be like, I have good jokes with soul, <laughs> great jokes with soul, I, I connect with all of them, right? And I think like when you're older, you don't have like, the same amount yeah. of energy to yeah. keep all of that up, right? Mm. Like it's like, uh, you're, I don't but why? What changes? Why don't you have the same? Is it because like when you were pouring yourself into 20 people when you were younger, <laughs> did you have the energy? <laughs> did you ever have the energy? Like why now do you think <laughs> I'm tired? I can't. Because when you were younger, you wanted it, right? Like, but now when you're older, there's other priorities that come first, this is right? True. Like, yeah. so it is the so I guess the priority. Then the question is, are there people who you select to be your friends because now you realize that you know this yeah. is who I want to move forward with? I think. For me, and it's the whole point around, I do think that there's certain friendships where it's just purpose and destiny. So, God, God, yeah. God, <laughs> God yes, I mean, not cut that. do not cut that. Yes, I want to hear what God does. Tell me. Can you cut what? <laughs> yeah. these videos I am always having bloopers in these videos but anyway so they're friendships that have got a date so when you meet people where even without the effort you just seem to get along and you just seem to have the sense of closeness without the collateral years spent together in history and all of those things but it feels from the onset that you get me and you understand me and this is a place I can invest and I so. think to, yeah on that though there's also people that just almost they persevere through the years so you they, they are your friends you know? like without even having to feel like you pour out and you do this and this and this it's almost like there's certain things that god has put in place for you for those people to be your friends to be them all the time and as a result when you lose friends when you lose friends what does that even mean when you lose friends it almost there's a certain part of you that's like you know what moving forward without you maybe that is it's fine maybe it's fine to move forward without you but at the same time i think that i don't i don't know if that so if that's biblical. There's two parts for it. I think one for me, my thoughts is one, friendships can be seasonal, mm. right? Like, and I think like God can put people in your life at certain times and they serve a particular like purpose and sometimes when that season is over, when autumn ends, ne? Out, oh my God, I want a, you know, I yeah. don't know seasons as well, yeah. <laughs> you don't know seasons. What comes after autumn actually? I don't know. Winter. I don't summer, know. spring, mm. summer, uh, whatever. <laughs> anyway. I'm not even contributing to this. <laughs> It. I, um, when I was reading Shonda Rhimes the earliest and she says there were points in her life right where she created the image that people were doing yeah. things to be friends in her life and because she needed those people to be what she believed they were and they weren't right like mm -hmm. so if you like these people are there for me they're always yeah. like my and it's like when you look back you're like actually no these those people weren't there for me right like but you you it was okay for you to believe that they were because at the time you needed to believe that you had people yeah. around you that they are adding value to your life and so I think Sometimes it's okay even in those times, yeah. right? Because that delusion ends and then you, you awaken, you like, moments of clarity. But I'm like, even for, me, for you to say those people were there for me, I think that a lot of friendships are based on your ability to communicate. Because I can't be there for you if, you've never, if we've never had the, con the yeah. conversation or the understanding around what it means for me to be there for you. But there's, right. there's obvious times, basically. Like there's times when, let's say, like a, a death happens in your family, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Th that's obvious. Like you don't have to communicate. I, 
that to me. And I do think those events, as much as sometimes you don't want that to be the case, but sometimes I feel like they show you your true friends. Because with those things, you feel like it's so obvious and you expect people to be there. And when people don't show up, it feels like that's already a sifting mechanism. And of course, within the boundaries of you communicating if you can't, due to reasons when, beyond when, your control. When you can't be there for people that you know you shouldn't be there for them, do you make an excuse for yourself? Like, how do you how sure. how do you take being the person who's not showing? Sure can't yeah. I think you flog yourself for a while. Yeah. You feel bad, feel bad. But like, if you so, if you're so bad, like, do, why aren't you doing yeah. something about it? Sometimes you just feel bad, but still not make the call. Or we'll still not actually do the yeah. thing that actually corrects it. But I think almost in looking at seasonal friendships, then can we also say that we are friendships where we need to segment the role of that friend in our lives? And, and what I mean by that is, so for example, communication. So there's a friend where we don't necessarily have to talk for a month, and that's okay. There's a friend where they're more like a good time friend, and not necessarily a, I'm in the trenches, I don't know what to do for it, and that should be okay. So is there a need to almost understand, understand as you're saying, so the communication, so, so you can understand keep the differences, the and then leverage the different friendships given what they're meant to mean to you. And not everyone can be the 3 a.m. I don't know what to do for it. I agree with that. Mm. I agree with that, but I think that 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 needs to be understood by both parties. And how often are those conversations had where I'm not you feel that you can call me when you need me, but I don't necessarily feel that I call you. And then it causes this imbalance. Like I feel like I'm sharing more, you're not sharing anything, and then and personally for me, I think friendships last when I've been able to communicate clarity, like mm. to be able to say, listen. I don't think I can do this thing of calling all the time. And it hurts certain people, but at the same time, like, come on, man. I, I, there's some things I'm just not going to be able to do, and it needs to be okay. Have you, have you guys cut people out in your life before? Have you ever made that choice where you're like, this is not working? So I, I think not consciously. So a lot of the times, the people who have cut out, it's been a... We were the people who would talk all the time, and now we've stopped talking. And when we do try, it just feels very mechanical and it's no longer what friendship I would imagine feels like. But that was not something bad that happened, that was growing apart. Yes, so a lot of the time to me it's been growing apart more than um, I'm cutting you and leaving you in 2017. <laughs> and you? Oh. Really? <laughs> that feels like betrayal. <laughs> anyway. So I, it's um, in Rupi Kaur's new book, she talks about the unrelated heartache, which is the loss of friendships. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've, I've lost a friend, um, and it's, it sucks, like it just sucks, like, and I think it's just like, wow, yo. And is it similar to a breakup, so is it is like it's a, a No, no, it, like, it comes and goes, right, because you're like, hi man, actually, hi bo, <laughs> claps once, like, it's just like, yeah. you, you can't believe it, because you're like, when you, when you realize things later on, it hurts, it's like, you're my friend. Like I thought, yeah. I thought, I thought we had an understanding. I thought we had a strong foundation to our relationship. Um, and what's really sad for me, I think, like it makes you question every. I think that was my experience. Like it makes you question everything, right? Yeah. Like because you've built so much foundation and you've invested so much time and energy that when it doesn't work, you kind of you you you, you understand the person so well that you ask yourself the questions that they probably asking. And you, you want to implicate yourself in it as well and be like, you were also wrong, think about it this way. And so that damage of implicating yourself makes you think, maybe I'm just a terrible friend all around, right? Like it's like, I, I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's just a very, it's, it's a tough, it's, I don't like it. It's not cool, it's, it's, it's but, but I think it also has to happen, like it's growth. Growth plus shedding. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah Have I you? Think, I mean, I don't think I've ever cut someone out on purpose, but I think I've, after, when you go through a fight or you go through something that shakes it, and then you see a side to someone where you're like, <laughs> girl, I would have never seen that. I would have never seen that if it, if it wasn't, maybe, I mean, if it wasn't for this, I would have never seen, or maybe I've seen you be like that with other people. But, now when it's happening, it. now I'm like, wow, okay, this thing is real, right? Yeah. And for me, like, I also think friendships don't last or they don't work because of inability to resolve conflict, yeah. you know? you you. And also sometimes it's our fault, right? Not being able to forgive, really. To truly forgive, to truly How forgive How do you someone. forgive, really? Like, what does that mean for you? When, you? when you say I've forgiven someone, what are you saying? I think I can forgive someone and in my heart be like, you know what, I'm good, but I don't feel like, like we were talking about earlier, I don't feel like I need to pursue a friendship with you thereafter. And also the way that we manage that space, after we've forgiven each other, the way that we manage it, it also tells me a lot. I'll be like, you know, I don't think I don't think we're there. I don't think we're we're working anymore. 
So it says be very careful of the place where anger and emotions meet. Right? Like they reveal to you where somebody does not respect your boundaries anymore. Like so the point where they like they can shout at you and yeah. be disrespectful and yeah. speak ill to you and be manipulative in the tone. But it's also very interesting because I feel like as human beings we're broken, right? Like mm. and usually you understand like either the, the history of that person or like whom the, or where they come yeah. from and the extent to which you can understand and be like, you know what, I know their heart. They were angry and that's why they spoke out of turn. And being able to be like, no, that was that was damaging to me as a person. How to come to yeah. you know, like those two together. Because that's the hard thing, because I always think about that line that says we judge others by their actions and ourselves by our intentions. And I think that's a lot of the breakdown for me that I've experienced in friendships where it's like, but you should know my heart and you should know who I am to not read this action as A, B, C, D, which may be unfair, but yeah. and a lot of times where there is collateral, I feel then it should be a case of, you should understand the human and the context and the brokenness. And then based on that, give grace to your friends as well. Because sometimes I feel there's no grace where it's like, understand me and understand also, and I guess this is where communication is also important, to so understand how I react to certain things, or so certain things are happening in my life, you know, when they take things like this happen, I recoil into myself or whatever, and giving room for that, which I feel, because of the no channels of just understanding and communication, maybe that's why people aren't able to do that, because I know when you're on the other side, you come up with a million reasons of, I mean, it's just, it's understandable, <laughs> my intention wasn't to make you feel isolated, you know? But, but I feel like, I, I don't know, like, I can, yeah. I can forgive a lot of things, mm -hmm. but I think what I can't, like, stand is disrespect, like, mm -hmm. like, you know, like, if you, if we're going to communicate and resolve yeah. things, let's speak as, like, adults, and with, like, a high, like, emotional intelligence, right, like, speak, like, say what you want to say, yeah. don't, like, drag somebody, and I think, like, it's, it's just, like, how do you resolve conflict, and I think that's something that we need to learn in our, especially in our 20s, like how do you resolve conflict well? Because without like good conflict resolution skills and the ability to forgive, God help us, actually, it's like something that's huge. I just think our relationships, our real relationships, you can't build relationships without that ability, man. Like, anyway. And also, I think, uh, just to wrap up, yeah. I think also, for me, I get, the way that sometimes friendships fade is when someone keeps trying to remind me of who I used to be. <laughs> Right? Like it's so annoying when they're like, no, but but you're like this. No, but you're like yeah. this. No, but and every time, oh, grouping me with certain people or certain things yeah. and being like, but you guys are like that. So I'm surprised that you think like this. It irritates yeah. me, right? Yeah. Because I make allowance for you to grow and to become <laughs> something. But when you want to keep rehashing that, mm -hmm. and I must have the same disposition every time that you do that. That I mean, it gets irritating, right? When people try to hold you. Oh, you used to be like this. Oh, I'm surprised you think like that now. Oh, yeah. wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, to me, it, it borders on disrespect. It's like, because yeah. now if I respond, <laughs> if I respond, <laughs> ne, I can respond, but then I choose to hold back. Yeah. So it's like, I think it's this delicate, That's true. That's delicate true. balance, right? Yeah. And the other thing, I think it's like imbalance in relationships, right? Like, I think there's, a, there's this girl who says, So, me like, don't deal on Twitter. You think it's my ride or die, ne? And you're the only one dying, <laughs> ne? And it's just, it's really interesting. I think, like, it's so important to have balanced relationships and, like, healthy relationships where it's like we bringing something together to the table. Having balanced relationships where, you, where it's not always 50 50, doesn't have to be 50 50, it can be 80 20 at different yeah. times because our needs differ from time to time. But it's like, I know the person's heart, and like, if, if I was in trouble, they'd be there. Yeah. Like, you know, like, they would. They would stand up for me and, and show up, right? Like anyway, so that was quite a serious subject. Wait, wait. Yeah. Also thinking, sometimes you lose friends because you get a boyfriend or a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> because we don't see you after that. You don't see we us. Don't see you. No, like honestly, I think dating somewhat it 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 uh, <laughs> it hurts Shrinks. certain people. It shrinks. Some people are just like, wow, you know. And I'm just always with it. You're just always with it. And, and, and then there's, there's space for that, right? Yeah. There's room for it, but yeah. then it's also like, also, just come on. <laughs> like, stop. Stop crucifying me for the one thing, right? And I think, like, ah, whatever. That's just like another one that I think a lot of people can identify with because your time, all of a sudden, is like. It's but it's also not okay, shame, to ignore your friend. But it's also growing up, guys. Yeah. You're growing up. You don't need a hundred thousand million <laughs> thousand friends. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's okay. And it's okay. it's okay. Allow yourself to transition into yeah. others and transition yeah. out of others. Ooh, right? That's how it's all like. Ya puma ya Allow them for doing. Anyways, thank you for tuning in, guys. Let us know what you think. Hey, zipi chomza guys. Where are your friends? 
Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a little bit of a heavy topic, but like yeah. we'd love to hear your own experiences, how it felt for you. Like, yeah. um, are you someone who's transitioning at the moment, or what's going on, right? So let us know. Are comments. you the one cut out? You are the toxic. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> We'd love to hear. We love reading your comments. Honestly, we love it. So please, please, please leave us a comment. And if you liked it, please subscribe and hit the and like, like button. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. guys. Wow, that was so real. Yeah, that was real. Thank you, guys.